with Create and Craft. Today, I've made for you a card from the set from Simon Says Stamp called Beautiful Mermaids. This is the set for the month of September. Beautiful, beautiful set. I don't know if you all can see it, but it has mermaids, it has sentiments, um, it's three different types of mermaids, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful turtles, seaweed, shells, it's a beautiful set. Along with the set came the Distress Oxide Ink by Tim Holtz called Broken China and Stormy Sky. Also, and they both are full-size inks. Also, with the set came a Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing and Watermark Ink. In order to make this set, this card, I'm sorry, in order to make this card, I actually used a Distress Oxide ink, the two inks, Stormy Sky and Broken China. I blotted it with some water and just laid the stamp down onto my surface, um, which I used the Tonic Tim Holtz matte. Um, and this is the actual surface right here where I put my ink down and then I actually spray it with water. I have a little water sprayer that I use here. Um, and then I just blot my car down into the ink. And then I take and I dry it with the Crafter's Companion heat gun. Um, and once it sets up, I went ahead and I fussy cut out um, my mermaid, which I do have a brother scan and cut, which would have made it easier, but it wasn't hooked up at the time. Um, but I used the, for, to color the mermaid, I used the Tim Holtz um, distress markers. I used pink raspberry for her hair and for her skin. I used the, I'm sorry, I had it backwards, the walnut stain for her skin. For the starfish right here, I used the mold lawn for her top right here. I used picked, I'm sorry, seedless preserves gonna say pig raspberries well I don't know um, also for her tail I use broken China and I also used peacock feathers for her tail also um, I use the nouveau glitter drops this is silver moon dust to blot the actual bubbles. But in order to get those bubbles, I heat set those bubbles with the Simon Says Stamp Clear um, watermark ink, embossing and watermark ink. Here are the bubbles. There's one there. Um, there's one there. And then there's a double bubble here that I used. And I stamped the bubbles onto the card. Heat set the card with my Crafter's Companion heating gun. I love this gun. It's so great. Um, and by the way, the card is an eight uh, five by seven card, and I also it I added it to regular white card stock. Um, I also used the sentiment um, make a. I'm sorry, I used the sentiment make a wish upon a starfish, which is still on my stamping block, right here. 
and um, I did an ombre effect with the Tim Holtz markers. I did um, the peacock feathers, the broken china, and then I watercolored it with my watercolor brush. I have a watercolor brush that I use um, right here. It's a brushed on the end of this tip in order to get the ombre effect after which I put the um, glitter drops on it and I also used the Nouveau glitter marker to make the little flecks that you see inside of the card so hopefully you guys will like this I also used um, foam tape in order to lay it down I hope you guys like this video. If you like this video, give it, a, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And you will be getting more videos from me soon. Um, we will be doing more detailed videos soon. We will be actually videoing an actual step-by-step -step card making um, on the next video. So, thank you guys for watching. Create and Craft. Please subscribe to my channel. By pressing the notification button, press the like button, and give it a thumbs up.